the story is uh, adapted from a from a concept that has been uh, done before but i have taken that concept and turned it around into a situation in sri lanka i wrote the script and it was sent to hollywood and uh, sir ben kingsley read the script and he said he wants to do it so we have a co-production between hollywood and sri lanka and um, uh, this was a this was a it's a rare opportunity for Sri Lanka because it's the first time uh, we're having the opportunity to direct Hollywood actors. Uh, the cast consists of uh, Sir Ben Kingsley, uh, Ben Cross, and uh, several other actors from Hollywood, who uh, not names but they are, they are very good actors from Hollywood. So we've had the good fortune of being able to make the whole picture within 27 days, shot entirely in Colombo. Just tell us what the movie is all about. Okay, it's about uh, it's about a man in, who has reached his limit, and uh, the idea is that everybody has a certain limit, right? So he has reached his limit, and he's very frustrated about the situation in the world uh, with regard to terrorism and the eradication of terrorism, and he takes matters into his hands and makes an uh, attempt to make a statement. On, on, on the plot because it's only good. And uh, you have worked with uh, well-known Hollywood actors in the past, for example, somebody like Steven Spielberg. How is it working with somebody like Sir Ben Kingsley? Well, the difference is, when you say I, I worked with Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Harrison Ford, and so on and so forth, I, I worked with them in the sense I was, I was uh, facilitating them. My company, uh, Film Location Services, which is 30 years old, has been facilitating these big companies, big directors, big actors. But this is a very rare occasion when I am directing them. So it's not a matter of just facilitating them. Uh, I'm involved in directing uh, their performance. So it's, a, it's completely different. So uh, I would say that uh, this is my first opportunity to do this. And uh, I'm enjoying it and it seems to be going very well. Are you looking at more Hollywood uh, movies being shot in Sri Lanka in the future now? Absolutely, I think the, uh, well, the end of the war obviously opens doors and uh, we, are, we are getting to be known as a very good location. And more than that, I think we should, uh, filmmakers of Sri Lanka must look towards the world, not just regional, not just uh, domestic consumption. I think the time has come for us to show what we could do I mean, we have been providing services for major Hollywood pictures and uh, uh, we were able to give them, facilitate their productions, line produce their productions. So why can't we line produce and facilitate our own productions and uh, address it to the international market? Well, how do Hollywood actors uh, see Sri Lanka now as a good film location now that the war has ended? Uh, is it easy to attract these Hollywood actors and actresses uh, to come to Sri Lanka to film? Well, first of all, it's not a matter of attracting the actors. We have to attract the producers and directors, and they will obviously get the get the uh, services of uh, of the actors. So uh, yes, we are in a position since the war ended. Well, even during the war, we've been doing this. I mean, Steven Spielberg came in 1983. Uh, even from 1983 till now. Uh, we have been making movies. We made Mother Teresa with Ch uh, Geraldine Chaplin. We've, made, we've been continuously making movies, even during the war. But now that the war is over, there will be an abundance of films that will come to Sri Lanka. Just a little bit about yourself. You've been in the film industry for years. Um, how, did, <laughs> how did you start? I mean, what motivated you to get into the film industry? Well, I've always been interested in films and since when I was 16 years old, I worked on a film called The Bridge on the River Kwai. 
and uh, I shouldn't have said that, but that really did me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so uh, when when uh, we did that film, uh, I uh, I had the 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 last for glamour and, and Hollywood. So I went with that team. I went to London, worked in London, and then I went to Hollywood, and I was there for about 35 years. Um, in Sri Lanka, more than the Hollywood name, Bollywood is more in fashion, if I can say. Are you looking at probably even making Bollywood movies in the future in this country? Well, uh, up to now we've been, we've been, we have done some Bollywood films. We did the film Ready with Salman Khan very recently. Uh, we've worked with Ram Gopal Varma. And there's a lot of films being made here, but actually what they come here for are for the scenery, like the song and dance sequences. They will do a, uh, one of those sequences here and uh, I think that we should go a little further and attract them to do their whole movie here. So we're working on that. Tell us a little bit about the Sri Lankan film industry. I mean, what are the tips or what are the advice you can give to improve it now that Sri Lanka is back on track with the end of the war? Well, our industry, you know, uh, the singular film uh, definitely has a has a, a small small marketplace for a single film. And it, unless it is exceptional, then you can subtitle it and sell it to the world. But we have not been fortunate enough to do that. Uh, I would say that we should think of the international audience as well when we do a local film. Uh, I was fortunate in uh, doing the road from Elephant Pass from Neil De Silva's uh, best-selling novel. Now, that had some significance because the world was looking at the, the war situation and this was about the war situation. So that brought in a market for me outside Sri Lanka. So we had to pick the subjects, you know, carefully and have the international uh, viewers in mind. I would say that uh, that's a step we have to take. In the future, is there a mix which we will see of Hollywood actors, you know, mixing with our Sinhalese actors in some of the movies which you will be directing and producing in the country in the future? Absolutely. Well, we are doing that with this particular film, The Common Man. Uh, Hollywood actors, Sri Lankan actors, we had Meena Jayakodi, we had, uh, we had Sando Harris, we had, uh, I don't want to miss names, I shouldn't have started with the names. Anyway, we have uh, numerous uh, players uh, in the movie, you know, and uh, uh, I think that that should be the trend. We should uh, mount Hollywood pictures here and have our stars also get involved in the productions. It'll come to that soon.